everybody. Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here today for my August budget. We're also going to be stuffing lots of cash today. And because I love savings challenges, we'll also do a few savings challenges because I love savings challenges. And I've got a new one that I want to share with you guys. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and jump into this. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. All right, everybody, we're here for the budget. We're going to go through this really quickly. I do want to read you the quote of the month for August, though, because whenever I do my budget printables, I always make sure I do a quote. So right here from Carol Burnett, it says, when you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go. So let's keep that in mind. And for my budget, you guys, we have already got this all figured out to make your life easier and my life easier. Um, you guys know I like to talk a lot. So I found that by doing this ahead of time, then it makes it so much quicker because we all know my favorite thing is the cash stuffing and the savings challenges. The budgeting part, while it helps some people, for me, it's like my budget hasn't changed that much. So let's go ahead and zoom the on. The way it. that my budget kit works is you go down the left-hand column first, then you come to the right-hand column. So the first item is income. This is my paycheck, rollover, and miscellaneous money. This month, we're working with $5,700. And so my bills, let me scoot you guys down just a smidge. There we go. My bills are Discover. This is the credit card I put my car on, $500. Home Depot, $200. Stash, $25. We're going to go ahead and do a $5 roundup going to Australia. My husband, $518. Going to round that up to $525 for $7 going to Australia. This right here changed, and I'll show you why down below. Electricity, $81. We're rounding up $4 for $85. Verizon, this went down because my daughter's phone is paid for, even though... She just broke it like two months ago, so she's now paying me for a new phone or a phone on her insurance, so new to her phone. So Verizon, two twenty nine seventy. so we rounded up $0.30 cents there. American Airlines, $600. If you guys watched my video um, of my monthly check-in, then you know this girl blew the budget. This is part of it right here, so $600. Amazon right here, $197.20 for $200. And this right here, I don't think, I think I forgot to include this in my budget for the month. I'm sure I did. Um, I bought some, I always buy protein powder for myself every single month. And then I also do vitamin stuff like that. But also with my son moving out, I got a duvet and a duvet cover for the bed that's going to be going into his room, which is going to be the guest room. So, whew, man, I spent a lot of money this last month. So our total for our bills is 2,370. That leaves us with 3,330. Now let's roll on down to the cash dividers. So envelopes, digital, this is what we do right here. So we've starting with 3,330 for food. We took our food budget down a hundred dollars. Now I don't want to take it down too far, but I'm, I know with, um, not feeding an 18 year old young man anymore that we're not going to need as much food. We're not going to cut it drastically. We're going to start out with $100, which is $25 a week. And of course, if you guys watch my other channel, then you'll know that we have been striving to spend as little as possible. We just did a no spend July and you guys, we're going to be doing a no spend August as well. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, make sure you go check out my other channel. Prepper Pantry, we're, we're going to leave right now at $200. Miscellaneous and fun is at 50. Home is at 50. Me for my money. I only gave myself $60 because right at the end of last month, I spent about 40 bucks on myself and I was like, okay, time to be an adult about this. So I only gave myself 60 so that I could take that other $40 and put it towards my over expenditures last month, pay it forward for $50, gas for my car, $200. So that gives us $1,110, which leaves us with $2,220. Let's roll on up to the sinking funds. If you are new here, my husband and I, we love sinking funds. So we've got a lot. Most of these are as they normally are. We've got gifts and celebrate, which includes personal family and extended family. We've got clothes, right? Um, I'm not putting anything in clothes because I spent all that money last month on my shoes. So I'm taking whatever money I would have been putting towards that and paying those shoes off. Garden is just going to get 10 bucks. Giving is going to get $100. Holidays is going to get $10. My kids are going to get $80. That's Julianne Payton. Land tax, $35 with a $5 roundup. Personal care, $300. Pets, $100. Sam's Club, $100. Subscriptions, $25 with a $5 roundup. 
Saving challenges, we're going to go ahead and roll $1,100 is what we're going to put this time. A brand new sinking fund where we're actually adding money into is our home sinking fund. Now, we've always had a home sinking fund, but what we did was whatever money was left in my wallet in the home category we didn't spend throughout the month, we added into this category. With doing home remodels and things like that, this home money has been mostly getting spent every single month. So my husband and I are each starting out with $50 a month to put into there. So that means we are putting $2,110 into sinking funds. That leaves us with $110. And last but not least, our extra debt is going to be funneled through savings challenges. And for extra savings, we do have our piggy penny. We're doing the 30 bucks for that. And rollover, you guys, I'm a little bit lower than I normally like to be. I only gave myself $80 this month for rollover. And our roundup for Australia is gonna be $34.10. Let's go ahead and stuff some cash. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is stuff my wallet. But before we do that, we've got to get our cash and put it into the cash tray. I'm not gonna count this, but I am gonna look for Starbucks. And then when we get to the A's, I'm gonna look for A's and G's, okay? So let's look for Starbucks really quick. I got a new G is for garden, but while I was doing that, I decided, you know what? We are trying everything for debt. So we're gonna start doing D is for debt as well. So let's see if I can remember that I am now collecting A bucks, D bucks, and G bucks. But so while I was printing this, I went ahead and pulled the D bucks out, but let's see how many G bucks do we have towards this tracker right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's go ahead and color in thirteen of these really fast. So we are already over halfway to our next goal for garden. Now for my garden, I mentioned that, you know, I'm probably not going to be spending a lot more money on my garden this year. We are in the process of building a greenhouse. It's a very, very slow process, but I'm going to need a shade cloth for that greenhouse. We're going to need some sort of ventilation, stuff like that. So I'm going to continue saving for that reason. Now let's go ahead and grab out our A buck tracker. And so we've got two more of those. And these of course are going to Australia and they are hard to come by. A few people have been sweet enough to send me a bucks and a huge thank you for that because in my area, as you guys saw, I had, what I have like 75 ones there or something like that and two a bucks, but hey, at least we got an a bucks. So we've got D is for debt. So we're starting that brand new and I just pulled more of these out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is going to be going to my car debt. So let's color in six of these.
another way to make another extra payment. So I grabbed another envelope out for myself. We're just gonna put these back here with the A bucks and the G bucks. So that way I can find them. I'm absolutely loving these zipperless envelopes, by the way. And you guys, speaking of the zipperless envelopes, the place where I got my zipperless envelopes from is Soul Mama. Now, you guys can go down below, check out Soul Mama. It's also where I got my Gemini binder from. I'm in the process of setting up another savings challenge binder with it, but I digress. So who knows how many ones I took out? I should have written that down <laughs> because for our stuffing, that's going to make a big difference. I guess the only ones that we need besides savings challenges are 10. So let's grab out 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to put those in there. I'm going to set these ones right next to it. I don't know. That's just what made sense to me. We're going to use this $30 right here for the piggy penny, but we're going to check it for the stars and we're going to have to remember to color the piggy penny. All right. I told you guys I was doing my wallet and then all kinds of things happened. So let's go ahead and pull out my dividers here and get them stuffed. So the first amount that we're going to do is $125 times four because we have four weeks and we're doing $125. And for me, this is just the easiest way to do it. I put the $125 into my wallet for the week. The other money is going to go into another binder so it sits in the safe because I don't wanna have all of this with me. So I just take it and I fold it in half like this and I put it in the front of the same envelope every time so I know exactly where it's at and I know what it is. So $125 for grocery. Then we're gonna do our food, our prepper pantry, food on the go. So we've got four of these and I go ahead and put all of them in right now because if I find a good sell, I wanna be able to take advantage of it. So there is that. And then for my car, that's gas. We've got $200 and I think I did two fifties. Yep, two fifties and five twenties. One, two, three, four, and five. And you guys, I hate it because I clear out my envelope and then there's usually a day or two when I don't have any cash in my wallet and it feels so very strange. Then for myself, like I told you guys, I'm only giving myself $60 because I went spend happy last month and pay it forward is going to get a 50. And then home is going to get a 50 and miscellaneous and fun is going to get a 50. Remember me telling you guys that the home money is going away? My husband, oh, I got all choked up. <laughs> I inhaled my own spit. My husband put $50 in there. It's already gone. Fun and miscellaneous, our $50 is still in there. So that's 100 And the last one is my bank divider. Okay, that is my wallet, all stuffed. Now, I like to highlight everything to make sure I don't forget anything. So let me highlight this really quick so that I know what I've got. Pay it forward. Yes. All right, let's just pull a binder and let's start. So what do we have here? Oh, we've got Christmas Miracles which is our giving. So we're gonna go ahead and put $100 into there. And what tipped over, I don't know if you guys saw what tipped over. He needs to have something behind him. I guess I have my Pepsi here. I'm drinking a Pepsi, a Pepsi Zero. Oh my goodness. Come on, what? You gotta stand up. What the duck is who that is. Holidays is going to just get $10. And this is for all holidays besides Christmas. And then we've got our birthdays. Now our birthdays, we do 10 piles of $17. So 10 piles, sorry you guys, five piles. And this is for my husband, myself, my two adult children. And then we have a fifth pile for any gifts that we wanna buy for anybody else. Now my husband does save money for gifts as well. So a lot of times for other people, we will combine money. And so we've got, you know, like a wedding coming up. And so we'll combine money together. And if we wanna give the couple $100, we'll each do 50. All right, so Peyton is going to get 17. We're not gonna count this today, but I am going to put it in order. And you guys, he is getting ready to start college in just a couple weeks. So we're super excited for him about his new adventures. And then hubby is going to get 17. And my hubby already knows what he's getting for his birthday. Um, he has been wanting a tattoo forever and ever and ever. And so I am buying him a tattoo for his birthday. 
And Julia is going to get 17. And then I'm going to get 17. Looks like it's time to do some consolidation. You guys don't see me do that a lot on camera just because a lot of times I do it as I'm stuffing or when I run short on money. <laughs> so gifts right here. So yeah, whew, my gifts is not, not looking super great. <laughs> we need a little bit more because we have a wedding coming up. So, um, but of course, another thing is I can take it out of celebrations as well. And so celebration is getting $100 and we're just doing a $100 bill into celebrations. There we go. One binder done. 15 more to go. Not really, but it feels like it. Okay. So we did gifts. We did giving, we did holidays. And I realized that I did the wrong change for my kids. So I don't know. So we've got savings challenges, you guys. Let's get the dollar bills to go into savings challenges. So we know that I told you all of these ones are going into savings challenges because we have already spent some of them in savings challenges. Now we need five fives, one, two, three, four, five. We need 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need 20 twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And we need two fifties and four one hundreds. One, two, three, and four. So uh, let me double check this. So that is our money for saving challenges pulled out of there. And for any of you guys that are brand new to my channel, I use this money to pay for my debt as well as other savings challenges. I've got savings challenges that are just for debt. I love doing that. It has made a huge difference in my attitude towards paying my debt down. So it is a lot of fun. That binder is thick. Okay, and then we've got the travel. No, we don't have the travel because I'm gonna use savings challenges for that. So savings challenges, that was $1,100. Whew. Then we've got our fun spending. Let's see, what do we have in here? So we've got my money, we've got kids. This one's Peyton's envelope, this one's Julia's envelope. I was supposed to get all 20s, but I got a 50, a 20, and a 10 because they're supposed to get 20s each. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So we're gonna be messed up at the end. We'll see what it, works, it looks like. I can make change if I need to to make it work, but we're gonna try and see what I will do if I do this right now. Okay, garden is gonna go ahead and get a 10. Clothing is not gonna get anything, you guys know that. I said I've already spent more money on shoes than I needed to. Personal care is going to get 300, so we're gonna do 250s. And actually, let's do 350s. Is that gonna work? 20, 40, and 50, or is that gonna make it worse? I don't know. We're trying to correct that mistake for my kids. Let's see, what do we have left in here, you guys? Because last month was a big month. I've got my hair appointment coming up, and of course I do my eyelashes, and I do my self-care massage each month. So I've got 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50. What did I do wrong? Oh, I need the 20s. No? Oh, great. What did I have in there before, you guys? I'm going to have to stop the tape and rewind it so I can fix it because there should be more than that in there. Okay. I'm glad I went back and looked. So I did short myself $100. You guys are probably like, that's not right, Marlene. And I knew it couldn't be right because I was like, that's not right if I put 300 in. 
All right, so let's take a look. What do we have now? 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50. Uh, that's more like it. So 450 furniture. There is nothing in here. Let me tell you guys something. 100% transparency. Um, I have made an, a decision. When I pay my car off in less than having it for a year, I am going to buy myself new furniture. Your girl has not had new furniture for about 20 years. Everything in my home is something that I have bought used since my divorce. And so I may start putting a little bit of money into furniture, but if I don't, I will be putting it on a 0% offer. I just want to let you guys know, because that is something that I've decided is important for me. Is it a need? 100% not. I will not replace all of my furniture, of course, um, because I still have furniture that I absolutely love. But I want a new couch and such. And our couch is so broken down, it's not even funny. So let's see, what do we have next? We have got the adulting binder. Sorry, you guys, I transgressed. I'm making mistakes. So auto insurance, that comes out of my husband's paycheck. Auto, this is money that goes in after my gas. Land taxes is $35.20. 30 and five. So $35 into land taxes. Pets is going to get $100. Home maintenance. This is our new one right here. We're going to go ahead and put $50 into this one. Okay. And subscriptions is going to get 25. And Sam's club is going to get a hundred. Okay. We didn't mess ourselves up besides when I had to stop and rewind it. So uh, that is our cash. That is all of our cash stuff. I am amazed that I didn't mess this up further since I had gotten the wrong denominations for that envelope. So we stuffed $3,235 today. Now we're going to go ahead and do a couple savings challenges. And we're going to go ahead, because we are focused on debt, we're going to go ahead and do our debt challenges first. So let me get the savings challenge money out. Obviously, we're not counting anything. We're just going to set it out. This is already a long video, but I love doing savings challenges. Now, I want to see if there's anything that I can finish today in the debt category to get an extra debt made, an extra debt made, an extra debt payment made. So let's take a look. I have a feeling I know one. And let's see, I think it's in here. So let's see, we've got, that's brand new. Rolling with my new Nomies is new. 654, we've got a long ways to go. Here's to strong women. Okay, now that's not the name of the challenge. That's just the dashboard that I made for myself. But let's get into that. And I finished this side, but I do have the coloring side. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Where are you? So doo -doo, right here. Okay. So uh, this is Jamie from Jamie's Realistic Life. We're going to go ahead and finish this out today. So we need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yep. We're going to get this done. This is a $90 challenge. So I'm going to color these really quick. They're not going to be completely colored in. Forgive me, you guys, but I know that it is already a long video. So we're going to take a 50. And we're going to go ahead and complete this challenge today. And let's make sure if we grab a 50, that this is in fact $90. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. And I am going to go ahead and grab 20s, you guys, to put into the bank. So we have got $90 going to debt right there. And then you guys, let's see what else we have got. We're going to have to come up with a new challenge for debt. And actually, I think I already know which one I want. I want mischief manage budgets. So I have got so many challenges, you guys. We're going to go ahead and add this one in, but it's not going to go in this binder because this is big ones. I know that that's probably confusing to some of you guys. You guys are like, what? Oh, the other thing we need, we need to put $2 in here for two star notes. Gosh, we're forgetting all kinds of things. Remember the star notes at the beginning that we found? So we're going to add this into another binder, but we're going to do it. And so this is Dory right here. It says, just keep saving, just keep saving. And we're going to go ahead and also uh, scratch her 
a little birdie says to save a little bit extra. We're going to do that one first. So five bucks. We're going to go ahead and grab five dollars on out. We're going to put it into this one. And we are also going to scratch one of Dory. Now I know that this is not completing it, but so we've got nine dollars and this is a hundred dollar challenge for debt. All right, $9, so five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're gonna stash this one in one of the other envelopes, obviously. I try to keep my stuff organized as to where they're at. I know some people do it by creator, some people do it by where your money is going to. This is just what makes the most sense to me. So we are done with this debt challenge, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that one on out. And our star, star notes that we found today were a 10 and a 20. And we're going to go ahead and color these in. So we have found seven star notes since we've started this. And Marlene, you're supposed to color these in before you use the pen because then you mess it up. And this is just another fun way to save money. I only put a dollar in because for my budget, you know, I found a couple, a couple $50 star notes. I need that $50 for other stuff. Okay, so we've decided this binder is done. Let's move it off to the side. We've got our adulting binder. That's where this one's gonna go. Is it going to fit? I don't know, let's take a look. Is this one gonna fit in here? Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's our newest debt challenge. Year ahead, debt, emergency fund. We are going to finish struggle, but we're gonna do that in the next video because it's gonna to take too long. And this one we can't finish, this one we can't finish. Well, who says we can't finish this one, I guess? Why am I undoing that? You know what? Should we roll this whole card and get it done so we can make a big payment? Heaven knows what Alicia's got on here. I mean, it could have like all of the money. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, $23, 21 two and three. Oh heavens. Oh heavens. Oh my gosh. Really? 22, 21 and two. Alicia. Oh, thank God. $5. $5. I don't know. These don't have a, these are just random. Who knows how big these are? Oh my goodness. $24. 21, two, three, and four. Oh, $1. Is it $1? No, $18. $18. 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I'm not going to have any money left, Alicia. Um, $7. Hallelujah. $7. 5, 6, and 7. Two more to go, you guys. Two more. Let's see. What is this one? 15. Hot damn, Alicia. This is a big month. Let's see. Last one. Nine dollars. Okay, so now you guys are going, why did you roll through that whole thing? I don't know. I wanted more money to go to debt at the beginning of the month. So that's what we're doing. So let's see. We're going to obviously go ahead and bill exchange. We're not putting all of this in the bank. We're going to take this to the bank today with the strong women challenge so that I can make an extra debt payment to my car. For anybody that doesn't know, I say this all the time, but I have new subscribers all the time. I actually put my car on a credit card. And I did this because a credit card was 0% interest. With I did have a fee. It cost me $500 to transfer it. Um, but I also used part of my emergency fund to pay off my old car. And then, so basically I got the title to that car. It was absolutely amazing. Let's see how much money we got. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, and 3. $123 payment is what we're going to make. So we're going to take 100 and we're going to take a 20 and three, just to make it easy. We're not doing any of the silly bill swaps that's gonna cause me to mess up. Now, on that note, you guys, I do believe that that's probably enough saving challenges for today. There's only one other one that I wanna do, and it's not for debt, and it's because this money is in the savings challenges 
but it needs to go in there. And this is Christmas. I do at least $100 a month to Christmas. And so I think it's in this one. There it is. Okay. So $100 to Georgette. Um, it's Christmas time savings challenge. And let me find a Christmassy color marker. Looks like we're going red again. So we're going to color in this hat. And then you guys, we need to make sure that we're putting some extra towards travel as well, because you noticed that I did not stuff on any money into the travel, but I figured why not do the same thing that I'm doing with my savings challenges for that. So let's take a look. How much do we have for Christmas? We have five, 600 in the bank and two more. So $800 for Christmas. We're getting there right on track. Um, and I like to do that one first because Christmas is important to me. All right, you guys. Uh, that's it for me today. The next video that you guys see me in will be straight saving challenges. Until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, my hair's messy. Do you guys care if my hair's messy? <laughs> This is what happens when you don't shower before you film a video. Hashtag keeping it real. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, everybody just do your thing.